This is about AI for everyone and making it accessible how you can use artificial intelligence in your life. Hello humans. Let's find out your AI superpower. What we really need to be looking at is micro transitions on your level. You put on a tool belt every day or a pocket protector or you have your set of tools on your laptop. What tools exist today that is going to make your life easier? If you're here on this channel, then you're on the right track and we're going to find out what it is every week that helps you if there's any way that your work can be assisted with AI your peers are doing it and you will be <laughs> you will not be able to keep up with the amount of work that people using these tools are doing unless you learn how to use the tools yourself and the sooner you adopt this into your life the sooner that you can benefit from these new skill sets of actually making your life easier. There's a lot of ideas there. So I got a six-year-old daughter and a newborn son. And when she asks me questions, I have a handy book I can go to and talk to her about how artificial intelligence was in 2016. You know, this was eight years ago and it's very relevant stuff and how artificial intelligence could affect the world. But we're living now in an age where artificial intelligence is affecting the world around us in very significant ways. And if we don't get on board as a workforce, we're going to be left behind economically. If we don't get on board individually, we're going to be struggling to find a way to support our family. Learning how to use AI and incorporating it into your daily life will make you not just a more efficient worker, but a capable worker in the future workforce. The future workforce is going to require you to use these tools and learning how to make use of them early on is going to give you an advantage over your peers, something that everybody's going to be doing. Every bit of this AI facilitating workflow is going to be incorporated more and more into our lives from our phones and how we research information, how we learn about what there is and what there is to know about what we've discovered. How can, how can you be more efficient with what you already do to free up time for other career pursuits or for your own personal growth and development, spending time with your family, taking a vacation, earning, earning a raise by being more productive at your work? Using the tools that are available in most cases are still available for free. And in cases where you have to pay for them, if it helps you gain time in your life, then it's worth the $20, $30 a month. Um, so we're going to be talking about a lot of different tools in a lot of different industries and how we can all gain the most from AI as a resource, as a coworker, as an assistant. This year, 2024, is about incorporating AI into your workflow in the way that AI art blew up last year and everybody is talking about copyright issues and whether or not AI has ethical concerns and how large of a macro effect it's going to have on the world. And if we don't as an economy um, engage with AI and incorporate it into our workflow, we might be left behind in the world. And as individuals, we definitely need to be looking for any ways that these tools are going to fit into our belt that we can use to improve what we already do with our lives. What is your workflow and how can AI improve that? Hello humans. Hi. Hello other humans. Hello other humans. Let's find your AI superpower. What is it that's going to help you find more time every day, whether it's more time to get more work done and remain relevant in today's new workforce, which requires using these tools to expedite your workflow, or you will be left behind and find some, have to find some other way to support your family or fulfill your goals or begin your future, whatever step you're at. It all begins with making the most of the tools that are available to you right now. And until you can do that with AI and find what it is that it can do for you, um, you're struggling in the state of whether or not AI is good and if we're going to use it responsibly and how it's going to affect the world economy and all the other kind of questions that the media wants you to think about when really all you need to be thinking about is how you can use AI to improve your life 
whether it's making the most of your free time by letting it help you plan vacations and times of years and just being a go-to guru on most things that are searchable on the internet 10 times 100 times faster than you can do conventional Google searches yourself you're going to be brought the resources and summaries and be able to move on into your research to find exactly what you're looking for way faster than was ever possible before so fashion designers um, graphic artists of all kinds really visual artists any kind of musical artist is going to be able to use AI and not to mention architects lawyers researching anything so doctors looking for resources there are very specific kinds of AI search engines that search scientific papers we're going to be talking a lot about how AI is going to be able to help anybody find what it is that um, they do and help them do it better so AI is going to be able to help you do whatever it is you do better and last year AI of course exploded onto the scene in a very big way and this year we're going to see it a lot more in uh, the conventional workforce and how it's going to help you as a person be more productive how you can use AI and the different tools that are available through AI to do research faster to perform whatever jobs it is that you already do more efficiently and essentially remain relevant in today's workforce if you want to have a job in the future you have to be using these new tools to expedite your own workflow or you will be left behind and the great I the, if you're here and you're watching this you don't have to worry about that because staying on top of what's available to you and how it can affect your life is going to be the pivotal change that sits you apart from the pack early on right now when people are still wondering about how it is everything that's being presented in the news cycle about AI is on a very big macro picture level and what we really need to be looking at is micro transitions on your level you put on a tool belt every day or a pocket protector or you have your set of tools on your laptop and you need to be finding in what ways you can expedite and what ways you can eliminate different parts different tasks of your day and find new ways to spend that time even more efficiently to move yourself ahead with whatever your goals are and using these kinds of tools you're going to really find that you have 10 times more productivity once you're efficiently working them into your uh, current workflow so not a lot of big changes here we're going to help uh, everything about this channel everything you're going to find throughout it is going to be geared towards helping you find out what tools are available big weekly updates and a daily digest i guess a lot of room here to just talk i'm going to edit this down what have i said so far you know with um a six-year-old and a newborn in my life i have to come to terms with the idea that it's not enough to just tell them about what artificial intelligence is, but using it as a parent to help educate them um, as, a, as a virtual tutor that is different than and any other kind of program that I used in that it very much is a, is a personalized chatbot. And being able to have that one-on-one -on -one kind of learning is extremely valuable. You know, knowing that my kids are going to grow up in a world where if they don't know how to use or aren't comfortable using AI tools early on in their lives, then they're going to be left behind with their peers in their capacity for production of whatever work it is that they decide to do. Their capacity for production is going to be very much affected by their ability, their comfort level with using AI. Saying all of this with a smile. Realistically speaking, there's no less than five to ten different AI programs that are going to improve your quality of life by either making you have more time available to do the things you want to do or by advancing your career in a way that you or by increasing your production capacity that allows you to advance in whatever career you are already in. <laughs> you know, we're going to talk about a lot of these individual things and I'll have a bit more prepared script for that. So, 
I'm reaching out to connect with any audience that's interested in learning more about how they can use AI in their lives to facilitate tasks they already do. So whatever your workflow is, whatever it is, whatever goals you have to achieve, this is going to make those well within your grasp. This is going to improve your ability to do what you already do and open up more time in your life and your career to pursue other objectives. I'm making you more efficient, more productive, and more prepared for the future. With all the news on AI being focused on big level, large, on macro level issues and ethical issues, um, the focus really should be on how you can use AI to improve your life now with free tools that are available for you to use and find out how much for yourself that you can improve what you already do. This is the future and you need to be ready. You know, there's going to be a lot of information so I need to work on my subscribe lines. If you want to know more about what AI can do for you, then stick around and check this next video out because it's a banger. <laughs> Very nice.